guys, it is Thursday. It is almost the end of our time in Rhodes, unfortunately, but today we are going to Lindos, which is a very, very popular uh, town. It's like a fishing village. It used to be a fishing village uh, and it's a must see and there's like Acropolis and there's a bunch of other things to see. And this morning we actually had to wake up at five because uh, we have a bus that leaves at 6.15 from the main bus station. It's near the old town and actually there are two options. Well, no, like I think there are three options that you can do and we did the, we are going to do the super budgety version. So the version that we are doing is taking like a public bus to Lindos, which takes, which is five euros one way. So it's 10 euros both ways. And then there is option two, which is taking a bus tour, which will actually bring you to the uh, Seven Springs waterfall first and then you go to Lindos in one day but I think that's not enough because you need at least a couple hours in Seven Springs but when we asked it was uh, they said um, it's like one hour in Seven Springs and then it's a couple hours in Lindos and then the third option is actually going to Lindos by speed boat but that's also quite expensive so we are just doing the cheapest option and yeah we're just gonna spend that money somewhere else and so yeah i am a little bit tired honestly my feet hurt so bad because when we went to seven springs waterfall uh, i i was in my white sneakers but we hiked so much and we walked so much that i have a callus on my toe like um on the smallest toe on like on my small toe and it just hurts so bad and my aunt is trying to heal it we are just doing whatever we can but we have been walking 25 to 30 thousand steps every single day and it's just like it's not healing and it's just it's just really really painful and i know that we are gonna have to walk a lot in lindos but yeah let's go to lindos About an hour we have reached Lindos and a really lovely man told us where to go and yeah it's just it's really early and it's kind of chilly but we are now going up to the Acropolis it is actually the oldest Acropolis in the world I think because it's the oldest Acropolis in Greece so it might be the oldest Acropolis in the world as well I don't want to lie and Let's go! online that this used to be the main town of Rhodos Island. It uh, used to be like a very uh, famous and very important uh, trading center and uh, yeah it was founded in about 10th century BC and then later when Rhodos town was founded that became the capital of Rhodos and yeah that's just like so interesting how there have been so many cultures, so many different uh, like intertwined cultures, Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, Ottomans from Turkey, and they just all interwined and this just, this town is just so beautiful actually and so interesting and the, the history here is just so rich and yeah. I found a little friend. 
is such a cute cat. Oh my god. So the Acropolis opens at 8 and it works up until 7 so you can obviously come here later in the day but I think it's actually wiser to come earlier so it's currently 7.40 and it was already pretty difficult to climb considering the fact that it's now windy and it's not hot, it's like 10, uh, 15 degrees so I can only imagine how hot it is when and how hard it is when it's a lot hotter and obviously it's not as easy in sandals but unfortunately due to having the callus on my finger like you can see my aunt put aloe there uh, it's really really difficult for me to wear uh, sneakers so yeah I am, I am sacrificing and the views are just magnificent and the cat is following me that told us where to go he asked uh, where are you from and I was like from Rhodes and he was like no 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 which country and I'm like Latvia and then he's oh Acho and I'm like no Acho is Lithuania uh, but yeah it's really cool that they are so friendly and so welcoming and they just they learn how to say thank you in your language we told him that it's Baldias and it's just like so so nice and I just love Greek people the wind was so strong here that you wouldn't be able to hear anything so voiceover it is. I was talking about how much I love Greece and how I could see myself living in Greece one day. Maybe not on this island because it's a little bit too windy for my liking but I could easily see myself living somewhere in Greece so we will see where life brings me. <laughs> So this is how it looked and this is what it looks now. The perks of coming somewhere in the morning. You are absolutely alone here. There is one more man but he went somewhere. But just look at how magnificent this once was. We can only imagine how people used to live here and actually I read somewhere that um, in Lindos, in this Acropolis, in this city, uh, it was the first place where people were building two or three story buildings and the Romans, when they came to here, they actually saw it and they were like, wow, that's actually genius, so let's, let's do that as well. And that is the Acropolis, we're gonna go up there a little bit later, now we're gonna just explore around here. In 20th century, there were a lot of archaeologists who came to Lindos to kind of dig everything out and see what's left from the old times. And nowadays, they are actually reconstructing and there are a lot of columns that are made these days. And you can't really tell which columns are new and which are from the old times. But either way, it's really interesting and really cool to come here. Now we are just walking to St. Paul's Beach. It's like a lagoon. It's closed off. Uh, from the top it looks like a lake. So if you don't want to have coffee, you can just like uh, turn left when you go down from the Acropolis and you will get here. So just look at this view. We were at the very very top up there and now we are just going down to the beach. We spent about 
24 hours on the beach. I burned a little bit, but that's okay. Now we are just walking through Lindas looking for some tavernas to have lunch and enjoying the day. I really liked the St. Paul's Lagoon. The water was a little bit cold, but not not like freezing cold. You can get used to it. So if you have time, if you are in Rhodes, definitely come here. It's 100% worth it. Thank you.